Hi FS1, this is Miss Brenda and this morning we are going to read our story Monkey Puzzle. We're going to be answering some questions throughout the story, so put on your thinking caps and listen very carefully. I can see the front cover of my book. He looks a little bit worried, my monkey. I wonder if he has lost something. Maybe we can help him to find it. I've lost my mom, said the monkey. I can see the monkey is in the woods. I wonder who will help him. Hush, little monkey, don't you cry. I'll help you find her, said the butterfly. Let's have a think. How big is she? She's big, said the monkey. Bigger than me. Bigger than you? Then I've seen your mum. Come, little monkey. Come, come, come. I wonder where their mummy is. She's bigger. No, no, no. That's an elephant. My mum isn't a great grey hunk. She hasn't got tusks or a curly trunk. She doesn't have great thick baggy knees. And anyway, her tail coils round trees. She coils round trees. Then she's very near. Quick little monkey, she's over here. I wonder if you can think of an animal that might curl around a tree. Which animal will we see next? No, 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 that's a snake. Mum doesn't look a bit like this. She doesn't slither about or hiss. She doesn't curl round a nest of eggs. And anyway, my mum's got more legs. It's legs we're looking for. Why didn't you say? I know where she is. Come this way. They're going to find an animal that has lots of legs. I wonder if you can think of an animal that has many legs. Let's have a look and see. No, no, no. That's a spider. Mom isn't black and hairy and fat. She's not got so many legs as that. She'd rather eat fruit than swallow a fly. And she lives in the treetops way up high. She lives in the trees. You should have said, your mummy's hiding above your head. I wonder which animal is hiding in the woods above their heads. Maybe it's his mummy. Maybe she's swinging from tree to tree. Let's have a look and see. That's not his mummy. No, 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 that's a parrot. Mum's got a nose and not a beak. She doesn't squawk or squabble or shriek. She doesn't have claws or feathery wings. And anyway, my mum leaps and springs. The parrot doesn't leap and spring. Aha, I've got it, she leaps about. She's just round the corner. Without a doubt. I wonder which animal they will see next. No, no, no. That's a frog. Butterfly, butterfly, please don't joke. Mom's not green and she doesn't croak. She's not all slimy. Oh dear, what a muddle. She's brown and furry and nice to cuddle. Brown fur, why didn't you tell me so? We'll find her in no time. Now off we go. They're off to find his mummy. They'll find an animal with some brown fur. No, no, no. That's a b a t bat. Why do you keep on getting it wrong? Mum doesn't sleep the whole day long. I told you she's got no wings at all. And anyway... She's not nearly so small. Your mum's not little. Now let me think. <gasps> she's down by the river having a drink. Well, if she's not little, then she must be big. I wonder which big creature they'll see. <gasps> no, no, no. That's the elephant again. Butterfly, butterfly, can't you see? None of these creatures look like me. You never told me she looks like you. Of course I didn't. I thought you knew. I didn't know. 
I couldn't, you see. Because none of my babies look like me. I can see the butterfly and her babies. Are her babies big or small? They're very small. Maybe you can count them. So she looks like you. Well, if that's the case, we'll soon discover her hiding place. No, no, no. That's my dad. Come, little monkey. Come, come, come. It's time I took you home to your mm, ah, mm. I wonder who they're going to see. Mm, ah, mm. Mom! The monkey has found his mom in the forest and they all look very happy together again. The end.